everyone's brain hates it when they lose weight. And so what it does is it begins to use strategies, not conscious, nothing to do with our brain, anything like that, to drag us back up, kicking and screaming to where we were before. I got tagged in this a lot. There is a theory that your body has a preferred weight. In hunter-gatherer days, if your body weight kept going down, it would indicate you are at risk of dying massive buzzkill. So there was a thrifty gene hypothesis where your body held onto body fat in case of famine. That way, if you had an unsuccessful month of hunting, you are less likely to die. Win. If we are genetically predisposed to hold on to a level of body fat, what happens when we have a sudden influx of ultra-tasty foods like Oreos, Doritos, McDonald's, and Ben and & Jerry's? Maybe this. And although this thrifty gene hypothesis has been hotly debated, some of the underlying concepts still remain very much agreed upon. When you lose weight, there are certain compensatory mechanisms that can make weight loss harder. Your appetite hormones start getting all pissy at you, and you get hungrier. If you diet, for every kilogram of weight you lose, it's estimated that your appetite goes up by 80 to 100 calories per day. So if you diet from here to here, you might be hungrier than some someone who has always been here. On top of that, your body can gradually start using less and less energy. So the original diet that gets you from A to B cannot always get you from B to C. So people often eat less, move more, and expect their weight loss to look like this. But in reality, over time, it actually looks like this. And these are just a couple of reasons why dieting is hard, and most people who lose weight initially regain at least some of that weight in the long term. And this is just a tiny snippet of why some of the smartest minds in the world describe obesity as a complex disease, and why you shouldn't trust people who think it is very easy for everyone to lose weight.